Hello guys and welcome to a brand new video. Today I'm going to resume my FGO Arcade Noble Phantasm reactions and I plan on ending this uh, in this video only, ending all of them. I think 20 or 23 of them are left. Now, okay, before we start, uh, I need to uh, like say something from the next week. Um, obviously, like this is ending, this series is ending of me reacting to the Noble Phantasms. So I thought, what can I do? Like, you know, like I'm, I was thinking about what can I do? What more FGO content can I make videos on? And then I thought like, I'll start from the next week. I'll start playing some fate games. Now, uh, I, if you guys remember, I said before that I played Fate Extella. I played it, but I can't remember anything about it. Most of it my, is hazy. So I'll do those again later on. But first, I'm going to start with something else, which I always had my eyes on, but never got the time to check it out. It was Fate Unlimited Codes. I think that's a game and it's like an arcade type of a game where you beat each, like, you know, the other character up, like one of those retro arcade games. And I, I kind of saw a few videos on them and I was very interested in it, but I never like really checked it out. So I, I'm thinking about the next week. Hmm, I'm going to start that. I'm going to start playing that. It's like game, like, you know, fade games is a good source of content. And it, like, you know, I can make a few videos on it as well. And I'm sure, let me know if you guys are interested in like, you know, like me playing fade games. Like after unlimited codes, I'll probably check out some other game and then I'll start you know, uh, Fate Extella, Fate Extella Link as well. I plan on doing all of them. And uh, as I said, I've played Fate, Fate Extella, but I don't remember. And I like did, I think one of the routes, only I, I completed Nero's routes. I didn't do Tamamo's route, neither, uh, like, you know, not the other routes. So uh, I kind of like skimmed over it. So this time I'm like, if I make a proper video on it, I plan on doing each and every route and like, you know, completing it completely. So that and Fate Extella Link I've not played. So those two as well I plan on doing. So let me know, you know, in the comment section if, uh, like, you know, like I'm sure you guys will watch. So, but I'm not sure how many, like, you know, like how much like people are actually interested in this. So yeah, so I'll, I'll start next week with Fate Unlimited Codes. And there I saw a few other games as well. There are some few other Fate games as well. I'll check them out as well probably and I'll also like you know check oh uh, I might start fate extra as well I'm not sure I I'll think about it you know and uh, but I'm like you know by the end of it I'm definitely doing fate extella and fate extella link so those two and the usual like you know fate reactions that I do those will be like you know I'll be continuing them obviously if some new events come in I'll do them as well and some new servants come in I'm react to them as well those will like, those I'll be doing but other than that, this. So let me know. Anyways, uh, that was a long introduction. Uh, so <laughs> yeah, <laughs> let's get started with this video. And uh, as I always, I'll be linking down the playlist below. So in the previous video, I stopped at Gilgamesh. So this time I'm going to start uh, from the servant after Gilgamesh, which is Mata Hari. And I'm looking forward to this. So Mata Hari's uh, arcade uh, reaction. Let's go. Okay, it's a bit loud. Mm. There she is. Oh. Oh, I never noticed she has this type of. I never noticed she has two. What are those bangles? I think so. Okay. Damn, the sound effects. <laughs> okay. All right, interesting. Um Okay, that that was quite interesting. That was I, I have to say the Noble Phantasm is quite good in the arcade version <laughs> with all its animations and stuff and uh, yeah and i never noticed mata hari has this two long things in her hand those are not bangles i thought those were bangles but no those are not those are i think something else just two round objects in her hand wired 
I'm not sure what those are, but yeah. And uh, all right, that was Mata Hari. And as I said, like you know, the the animation was quite. <laughs> what can I say? Um, like obviously I've seen the mobile version, but I've never seen the arcade version animation. So <laughs> yeah, that was that was a well done NP. All right, the next one, Kyohime. Okay. Oh, okay. I'm looking forward to this one. Um, <laughs> I'm also looking forward to how she introduces herself. Let's see. Boy. <laughs> There she is. Okay. What the? Um. Yeah. She's. Okay. Whoa. Um Okay, she is yeah, obviously her personality really shows in her um what do you call it? Uh in her inter while she's introducing herself and uh, <laughs> the way she acts is ah scary a little bit if you actually know how she is, you know? Like how scary she is. <laughs> sometimes <laughs> boy and in a noble phantasm she just says that like i'm going to punish all of you liars <laughs> and she like you know like uses her burning flame to burn you down burning flame what does that even mean why did i even say that <laughs> anyways um so okay just a sec um i really like her um, ascension art of i think it's the third ascension art the black kimono i think i really like that they did not show that here it's her usual blue kimono that she's wearing but i really love her uh, black kimono that she wears and i think it's the third ascension art no i i love that like that's really like cool looking so yeah i used to use kyohime a lot before you know when i was new to the game but obviously then like you know as i started getting more servants <laughs> yeah Bad. Anyways, all right. The next one, Julius Caesar. Okay. Ah, there he is. <laughs> wow. Saber. Saber. Whoa! Wow, his face! I, <laughs> I love his expressions! <laughs> My god, I never noticed this! My god, I never expected him to say Watashi <laughs> Um, uh, Most probably because I never really use him. That's why I never really saw his Noble Phantasm before. So, I, like, you know, I never really paid attention to his Noble Phantasm. But yeah, that's funny. Watashi wa kita, watashi wa mita. <laughs> oh, okay. Anyways, um, I love his, um, this section. Like, let me watch that again. Like, just look at his face. I love his expressions that he makes. Look at this. <laughs> look at this. <laughs> oh my god. Wow, that is amazing. I never thought I would enjoy this so much. <laughs> the way he introduces him. His face, like, oh my god. His face, his expressions are gold completely. Wow, I love that. 
<laughs> okay anyways let's check out the next one oh georges mm, all right i never really use uh you know uh, one star or two star servants that much so i barely even know anything about them okay, I'll, I'll start using them because of new strategies you know Oh. Wow, his voice is very um I never expected him to sound like that. Alright, um, uh, okay, as I was saying, like, you know, I, I, I'm a very casual player, FGO player, so I never really use that much strategy, so that means all the uh, lower rarity servants who you really need in these type of strategies. Georges is a very important character, especially for a lot of strategies because of his, uh, like, you know, uh, aggro that he uh, uses, like, you know, he gain like, attracts all attention and, you know, the target uh skill i forgot the skill's name that you know like that targets yourself and all the enemies attack you um that thing because of that he's very uh important for a lot of strategies and since i never like you know really did it like you know care that much about strategy and just like played casually i never really used them or leveled them up or like you know watched their noble phantasm but now after like you know i'm, I'm doing these type of videos i like you know i recently i think yeah recently i leveled him up and i'll probably start using him uh, uh from the you know from the upcoming videos i might like you know start using him i even leveled up his skills which are needed so yeah and i never really expected his voice to sound like that but yeah all right all right anyways let's check out the next one carmila okay Oh boy, I really like Carmila. I don't know why. Like not only you know this, but the Carmila Carmila Rider. I love. I really love Carmila Rider. This is also you know her assassin version is also quite. <laughs> All right. Whoa. Damn. <coughs> Damn. Huh. <laughs> well, where she speaks. All right, here it is. <laughs> Wait. Wait, did I? Just a sec. I'll. Wait a minute. In this section when you know she like Martha is looking at her and now the phantom maiden comes in she's looking wait at this wow that's very uh, I have to say um uh, what can I say it's very you know like detailed in that way because like, you know they could have just kept her like that so that means uh, not only Martha I'm sure all the other servants whenever phantom maiden happens they look behind them and look at the uh, yeah like look at it like he's she's like uh, staring up at the phantom maiden wow that's like n nice details i have to say like they added this as well like like you know like usually like what happens that means like whenever this noble phantasm plays they have programmed the uh, enemy servants to actually look back at the phantom maiden and like you know like like this type of thing happens that means interesting i like you know that there's something that i notice now <laughs> okay okay anyways um <coughs> carmilla <coughs> so yeah carmilla carmilla is quite strong i have to say like her assassin version uh because of a single target np and i used to use her a lot before i actually got um jack the ripper and karma you know like i used to and i still use her because whenever i need some you know buster single target noble phantasm 
know, she is a buster like in, in single target noble phantasm and she he deals huge damages and uh, i still use her because of but now now since i already have skadi you know jack the ripper like kama both of them are like quick servants you know like i don't need her that much but still there are times when i actually need her so yeah like she she was one of my you know most uh staple assassin servant that i used everywhere and uh yeah so anyways and i liked her like you know noble phantasm it was quite nice and as, as i said like i really like that detail that the enemy servants actually look back <laughs> <coughs> and uh yeah all right the next one um oh mozart wolfgang amadeus mozart There he is. うん。ボクはアマデウス。ボルフガングアマデウスモーツァルト。わお。戦闘は友かく。君の人生を飾ることだけは約束しよう。わお。オッケー。His wow. okay. <laughs> attacking animations are really nice. Whoa! <laughs> Damn, that pose! Wow, Elizabeth is there! <laughs> okay, alright, that was Mozart and you know the funny thing? When I started this game, <laughs> I never realized that this is the same Mozart that we know. I thought that, okay, like, who is this like, Amadeus Wolfgang? Like, I, I never really paid attention to him. And then suddenly, like later on, I actually realized one day that, oh my god, this is the same Mozart that we know, the musician, you know, uh, the genius. And <laughs> I, I then realized, I was shocked. I was like, why the hell did I even not even notice that up until so long? So <laughs> it's kind of a funny thing. And uh, yeah, Mozart, like, you know, has, has quite a few, uh, quite a quite a bit of screen time i have to say uh, i think he was there in i can't remember in one of the singularities i can't remember and obviously he was he was in the lost belt in the uh, what lost belt that was uh the first lost belt the russian lost belt yeah and like unlike a few other like you know lower server lower rarity characters he gets a lot of screen time and uh, yeah that's quite you know Nice. I'm guessing most probably because of his, you know, like because Salieri was introduced, and because of his connection with Salieri, he was also there in the Lost Belt. And uh, anyways, uh, okay, let's check out the next one, Vlad. Okay. Unlike, uh, like, I feel like Vlad doesn't get any screen time at all. Like he got his screen time in Apocrypha, but other than that, I don't really see him. <laughs> But he was there in the recent event, you know. <laughs> Whoa. <laughs> wow. That's that's a dramatic way of actually introducing himself. Oh boy. He looks cool as hell. Like, look at him. <laughs> wow. His arcade noble phantasm is a lot more impressive than his normal noble phantasm, I think. You know, he does a lot of things here. Like, you know, like all the posing that he does. Is, does. <laughs> and uh, yeah, like, uh, boy, his... <sighs> What can I say? His character is so cool. No, just like look at him. Yeah, and uh, like as I was saying, like you know, like I feel as if he does not get much screen time in the actual story. I'm not talking about the events. We like you know recently had an event and he was there. I'm talking about the actual story. Like you know, he doesn't have much um, screen time there. But uh, he got his screen time in Apocrypha. You know. 
and uh, yeah that's something <coughs> or maybe he did did get screen time in the story i can't remember my my memory about uh, the singularities before camelot are very vague i can't remember stuff at all you know after camelot or from camelot i remember everything but before that it's kind of hazy so i might be wrong you know like yeah but anyways yeah that was that okay the next one siegfried here we go <coughs> wait a minute correct me if i'm wrong people call him sumanai doesn't it <laughs> because he always says sumanai i think so correct me if i'm wrong i might be wrong Saber, <laughs> Look at him slaying a dragon. <laughs> Funny, <laughs> Elizabeth. <laughs> oh boy. As I was saying, people call him Sumanai, doesn't they? Because of he, like you know, like Sumanai means like I apologize or excuse me. So he, because of that, he always does that. That's why people call him Sumanai or something. I think so. <laughs> I might be wrong. It is like you know, I kind of heard it before. So yeah. All right, that was Siegfried or Siegfried. I think that's how it's pronounced. And. Uh, yeah, his, his, he has a great character design, like, you know, his um, armor and everything, his hair, and, uh, yeah, I'm, I'm not sure how he, he's quite, I think he is pretty good as a, like, you know, as a uh, servant, like, pretty strong, but I don't know, I'm not sure, I, I barely even played with him, I usually use him one, I, I think I used him one or two times when, from what, one of my friend supports. But yeah, so I can't tell much about him. You know, I barely have any experience using him. So yeah, okay, that was Siegfried. Oh, the next one, Atlanta. Okay, um, Atlanta. I don't see her as well that much. <laughs> but after Skadi came, I think people use her. Before that, I barely even saw her. <sighs> wow. Okay. Nanjinga <laughs> master ka? Well, that was a very concise introduction. Nidaishin ni tatematsu. Boy boss catastrophe. Okay. <coughs> I think is she the only uh, quick uh, quick noble phantasm archer in the game? No, um, Robin Hood is there. No, wait, Robin Hood is quick or is he Buster? I can't remember. I think Robin Hood is quick, isn't he? I can't remember, it's hazy, uh, but yeah, I don't know. Anyways, uh, moving on. So uh, this was Atlante, and as I said, like you know, like I barely see people even using him. But uh, after Skadi came, I think few people actually use her because of her quick, uh, you know, quick noble phantasm, and uh, yeah. So I don't know. <clears throat> He's another servant, as I said, like you know, who's quite uh what can i say people don't really use her that much so i might be wrong though you know maybe it's just my friend support who doesn't have her anyways um all right the next one caligula <clears throat> oh my god he's going to scream about nero isn't he <laughs> yeah i think so Mm. 
Yeah, there he is. That was dramatic. <laughs> oh wait, he actually punches character. I forgot about that. <laughs> Whoa. Okay. Um uh, surprising he didn't scream about Nero, but <laughs> yeah, anyways, okay, that was Caligula. I forgot about that. Like, he actually punches people. Wait, he's a berserker. Okay, all right, that makes sense. <laughs> I forgot about that as well. So, <laughs> I, you know, like, as I said, I usually, I usually don't use these characters, so I forgot for a second that he actually punches the characters. And <laughs> It, it kind of feels weird because you know he's all like armored up and like I expect like looking at him I expect him to pull out a sword but he starts punching characters like <laughs> boy that's something and uh, yeah and that was Caligula and uh, okay all right then let's check out the next one oh Leonidas this will be uh, good All right, let's see Leonidas. Leonidas also gets a lot of screen time. He got screen time in Babylonia. Damn. <laughs> okay. Whoa. Oh, <laughs> he's fighting in March. Okay. All right, there it is. I'm quite familiar with his noble phantasm. Hmm. Okay. Um. Oh God. Ah, the, that was Leonidas, and yeah, I'm I'm familiar with him, obviously, because I saw his. You know, like we we get a lot of screen time from him in Babylonia and a, a few other, I think, events and all. So yeah, and. Uh, <clears throat> Um, I think he, I'm not so sure about it. As I said, like there are a few characters, uh, you know, lower rarity characters who are very used because of their uh, interesting skill set. For example, Georges, uh, Hans, uh, then who else? Um, Robin Hood. Robin Hood is a three star. Uh, Robin Hood, Arash, and uh, um, oh, I think people use Shakespeare a lot as well. Shakespeare, Mozart sometimes know and uh, uh, a few other characters like you know they're, they're like very much used because of their skills and all uh, I'm not sure if he's one of those characters like you know but uh, I'm not like you know, you know I, as I said I don't use these characters that much so I'm not so sure about their skill set as well uh, I'll, I'll have to start like you know familiarizing myself with their skills, their you know the way they are used in different strategies and all. So, anyways, all right, that was uh, Leonidas, and uh, yeah, that was a uh, his noble phantasm. And uh, okay, let's check out the next one. Oh, Martha. <laughs> all right. <laughs> okay. Wait, Martha doesn't have a 5 star variant, does she? Yeah, she doesn't. <clears throat> both her, you know, Martha Rider and both Martha Ruler, both are 4 star. Wait, that's her voice? Oh, I never noticed. <laughs> it's quite polite, I have to say. <clears throat> Oh my god, that's Tadask! Wow, that's impressive! 
Okay, that was a good noble phantasm. Um, yeah. Uh, okay, that was Martha. I, I did not expect her voice to be like that. You know? Um, most probably because I'm accustomed to him, uh, to her actually punching people <laughs> and beating everyone up. So I thought, you know, her voice would be a lot more. Uh, ah, just God. A lot more. Uh, what can I say? Tomboyish? You know? But <laughs> it's like one of the most uh, calmest and uh, yeah, one of the most calmest voice I've ever heard. But it makes sense. That's you know, Saint Martha. So yeah. Anyways, okay, that was that. And uh, I think I have Martha. Yeah, I have Martha. I have I have her. All right, the next one, Heracles. Oh, Heracles was a spook, I think, for me. He spooked me. There he is. Oh, how will he introduce himself? Let's see. Oh, there you go. <laughs> nice. Whoa! <laughs> Look at him jump! Oh my god, here it is! Ooh. He's still one of the best berserkers in game. Alright. Uh, <laughs> that was Heracles and... Uh, ah, what can I say? Like, his introduction was <laughs> fantastic. And uh, I actually re re remem remembered that in fate, uh, where, fate and in, in the fate stay night, you know, all the three roots. He's very agile. So I actually re re remembered that which as soon as I saw him jump and somersault in the air. <laughs> oh my god! Like uh, I was not expecting that for a second there because you know, like he's so big that you sometimes forget. That he's so agile and so fast <clears throat> and uh, yeah and he's still one of the <clears throat> best berserkers you know in game uh, <clears throat> especially after <clears throat> you unlock his um bond c the bond c is one of the best bond c's which actually gives you so many guts i think i'm not sure how many guts it gives you but uh, it's really impressive and that's like you know like uh it really reminds me of narrow skill which gives you like five i think five guts yeah for five turns or something like back to back N narrow actually saved me a lot because of that skill previous like you know before i uh, when i used her a lot when i did not have any five star saber she saved me a lot of times because of that gut skill like <laughs> you know like she gets killed and like revives again and again and again boy uh yeah i need i need to like you know Unlock his bond C as well. Heracles. Right. Next one. Medusa. Yeah, we're very familiar with her. Everyone knows her. I was really kind of like you know, shocked when I saw that she's a three-star servant. When I started FGO, I was like, why? What the hell? Why? <laughs> I still don't un Okay. Damn. <laughs> Whoa. <laughs> hey, you got better at fun. Wow, that's good. Okay, I like this noble phantasm. One thing, um, as I was saying, I was really kind of shocked when I actually saw that she's a three-star servant, and like, I don't know, like I I expected when I started the game, I expected her to be a five-star servant or something, you know, because obviously, yeah, like she's one of the main characters in the in the anime and in the visual novel, so. Like, you know, I thought like, uh, not 5 star, but at least a 4 star, I thought. She was a 3 star, and I was like, why? But, 
like you know like then i actually as i started playing the game i actually realized that rare like you know like star rarity uh like you know three star four star one star five star actually doesn't really matter in this game that much because there are a lot of five star servants who does worse than some one star servant so that's that's one of the best things about fgo that <laughs> you like you know like <laughs> you, you don't need some you know five star servant army to actually win the battles uh if you you know look up some strategies you can complete uh, the toughest of the battles with just some two star or one star servants it's very like you know like you can do that it's very easy so that's quite nice you know because that really makes the game as like you know not locked behind a what do you call it like you know, behind a paywall like there are some games where you actually you know have to spend to actually get that five star strong character to actually advance otherwise you cannot you cannot do anything with the lower rarity characters fj is not that here basically you <laughs> you spend your mo money for your wife or your husband oh that's basically it not for like you know winning a battle or anything any kind of reason like that you just do it because you love the characters <laughs> boy that's that's quite nice you know and uh, yeah all right okay anyway uh, let's check out the next one no, oh, this is Phantom of the Opera. <clears throat> I never use her, him at all. Yeah. I know his, his noble phantasm, but... <clears throat> oh wait, he's an assassin? Oh yeah, I forgot. <laughs> okay. Whoa. What? Huh? Wow. <laughs> okay, that was cool. <laughs> yeah, that was nice. And uh, yeah, that was Phantom of the Opera. Nothing much to say about him. I was, <laughs> I was quite <laughs> surprised at the way he actually fights. Like, you know. <laughs> but yeah. Okay. Anyways, okay. Let's check out the next one. Oh my God, Kuhulin Caster! I burned him. <laughs> um, we'll we'll get him in the later in one of the events and. JP, so I'm definitely going to, you know, I'm definitely going to summon him. Oh, it's, it was Lost Bell 6, I think, yeah. He gets a banner. Wow, what the? <laughs> wow. Okay. Oh yeah yeah. I remember his old phantasm now. Whoa! That's cool. <laughs> Alright, that was a really cool noble phantasm. I forgot his old phantasm for a moment there. But as soon as I saw it I remembered. I remembered, you know, like in in the first singularity in uh, Fuyuki, I think. He had a huge role, and I think he gets another huge role in um, Lost Bell 6, I think. And that's when, again, I think his banner comes. And, uh, yeah, like, I'm obviously going to summon in the Lost Bell 6 banner. Uh, I will probably try to get um, uh, Faye Gawain and Faye Tristan, you know? And uh, I'm not sure if I'll try for Lancelot. I might try, but in the next event after that, Koyanskaya comes in. So I want to save for her. So I'm not sure what I'm going to do at that moment, but I'm definitely going to roll for in that banner. So I'll probably get um, caster, uh, cooling caster as well. Most probably, I think. I don't know, but yeah, hopefully. Like every time I like, you know, open my interlude, <laughs> you know, the me interlude menu, I always see his 
see his mission grayed out and I get reminded that I burned him like I, I at that time I really didn't know that he he, he he's not even in the frame FP sum, the summon pool he's nowhere I didn't know that so I, I would have probably paid a little bit more attention I just burned him because I thought I would get him eventually again and uh, that was like a blunder all right the next one Emia Okay, I am the bone of my sword. What, what was after that? I forgot. Steel is my body. Servant to Archer. I forgot. Shokan Yoji, Sanjo Star. Damn. All right. Wow. Emi actually uses a bow. <laughs> I know he uses it, but still. Okay. <laughs> that English. <laughs> Boy. Wow. Okay, that's um overkill. <laughs> Alright, um yeah, that was Emia and obviously everyone knows him. He's <laughs> one of the main servants. And uh, now, I remember I actually re re memorized his <laughs> Noble Phantasm lines before. I remember that, but I forgot it. Uh, the only thing I remember is I'm the bone of my sword. I think that he says something like, he is my body, no. Something, fire is my blood or something like that. I've created blades known to death, not known to life, or something like that, I forgot. I'll have to check it out again. So yeah, I, I really memorized it once. I don't know why I did it, but I did it. But I forgot eventually. <laughs> okay. Uh, all right. Okay, that was Emiya. And uh, I wonder, like he has another noble phantasm, doesn't he? Roias. So that's another noble phantasm, isn't it? So... I wonder if we're probably going to get a future servant where he actually uses that or something. I don't know. But, yeah. anyways. Alright, the next one. Oh! The eggplant. <laughs> the eggplant of our, of, of Kaldia. Marsh Kiria Light. Whoa, what? Oh yeah, she's a default servant, so. <laughs> Wax you with the sheep. <laughs> <laughs> I love that. <laughs> Kaldia or Camelot? Let's see. Kaldia, I think. There you go. Wait, we don't get to see his... Her. Lord Camelot? Oh, I think, yeah. <laughs> okay. So, uh, Mash. Now... <laughs> I, it's just kind of off topic, but I always think, like, you know, whenever I see Marsh, like, <laughs> Shield Hero should have gotten his <laughs> tutorial, like, you know, and uh, training from Marsh because she really knows how to use that shield to actually fight. <laughs> totally off topic, but, you know, and <laughs> anyways, I, I love it when she just whacks you with the shield. And um, yeah, she's she's very um, what can I say? One of the most useful servants. Like I never thought she would be this important because a lot of times, like you know, you need to use her because of her skill set. It's so um, important. Like you know, the uh, increase in defense and um, the you know the target yourself that uh, uh, skill and then the Invinc in, uh, invincibility skill yeah and obviously her noble phantasm but uh like you know that's like that's when galahad was when in him uh, in her and then when later on like you know she takes up the ortinex obviously her skill drops and yeah i used to use her so much in these singularities but then when uh the lost wells came in and you were like locked in with the ortinex like uh, it's, it's a real shame like I can't use her because her skills really 
yeah it's kind of useless in a way but you know like i'm sure i'm sure in the future later on she'll probably get uh another boost who knows maybe like i think she's the first servant isn't she who who was three star in the beginning and she became a four star later on so who knows maybe in the future she'll become a five star i don't know i like you know like it, it might happen so or may, maybe she'll get some huge boost in her power or something something would probably happen uh later on in the future and she'll get some kind of huge boost or something and like you know, I'm, I'm kind of Okay, anticipating that and waiting for that i might be wrong M maybe nothing will happen but you know it might all right the next one elizabeth bathory <laughs> boy uh yes this girl oh my god okay let's let's like funny to think that she and kanila are basically the same <laughs> Look at that! <laughs> Manager, wow. <laughs> Her whole idol persona thing that she carries on. <laughs> Back to with a tail, wow. Okay. Ah, I'm very familiar with her Noble Phantasm because she was one of my, one of my first four star characters. One of my four, first. Ah, uh, she like more precisely, she was my third four star servant, and <laughs> I used her so much before, and I still like you know sometimes you really need to use her even now when whenever like characters have that annoying uh, defense up. Uh, you know buff and she's quite handy at that because i think her noble phantasm ignores defense or something so yeah that's when you actually need her but otherwise i don't really use her that much nowadays mm, and uh, yeah yeah you know and <laughs> like funny thing uh like the second servant i got was Nero, and the third servant i got was elizabeth bathory <laughs> post star servant and like damn like i thinking about it such a coincidence that you know nero and elizabeth are related in a way so you know they kind of like are rivals and i actually got both of them <laughs> like you know one after the other so yeah and uh, yeah I, I really like I, I like her quite a bit and <laughs> her whole idol persona and all like and the and it, it really blows my mind to like re whenever i realize that uh, not realize but whenever i Remember that she and Carmel are the same character, not same. They're basically like the younger version. <laughs> My God. Okay. And she's she's one of the like a, a great character for one of the best like you know uh, comic relief character of the game. Like, <laughs> like yeah, it's kind of funny. Anyways, all right, the next one. I think this is the last one. Artoya Pendragon. Ah, the. Very first sub. I think she's the first servant, isn't she? In the game. I think when you actually search servants by their ID, I think she is at number one or two. I think first is Master or something like that. Okay, let's see. The classic. The classic way of introducing. There you go, Excalibur! There you go! Boy. Whoa, it's like fireworks! Okay, uh, her Excalibur is really one of the best parts of her voice acting. The way she actually screams Excalibur. Um, yeah, that's... <laughs> that's really like i really li like that and her voice acting is really nice i really like her voice actors as well and uh, uh i i don't think i yeah i don't think i've heard her voice actor that much i'm not sure 
but yeah like she's she's she has a great voice actress i have to say and uh, <clears throat> i think obviously we everyone knows about her it's like arturia pendragon and i think she was most probably the first or the second servant of that game i think the first one was marsh most probably i'm not sure but yeah she's one of the you know, earliest servants and uh, um i don't know like i'm kind of hesitating because uh not now that the, you know the future ssr ticket that we're going to get obviously i'm going to choose waiver in that but after that the next year i think the sixth anniversary where we're going to get another anniversary ticket ssr ticket i'm kind of hesitating and thinking about like you know i had a plan of actually getting ganesha in that using that but now i'm thinking like i sh i don't know i think I, I should probably use artoria you know because i don't have her I'm not sure like if like you know like it'll, it'll be, I'll think about it later on because I don't know like someone might spook me you know she, they're uh, the story servant characters uh, uh, not story servant sorry they're the story uh, in the story summoning pool as well so either of them might uh, spook me in any day so like yeah like and the sixth anniversary is going to happen two years later so we have a lot of time so I'll probably I don't know like I'll either choose her or Ganesha in the second using the second SSR ticket. So yeah, something to think about. But yeah, I, obviously I like her like she, she's I really uh like her as a character and you know all things uh thinking about all like everything and like I don't know like the what can I say? Like there are actually a few things which actually make you realize later on as you watch the anime and everything that she's quite a flawed individual, especially after Fate Zero and after you start playing uh, Fate Granddaughter, you actually realize that a lot of things that she did before were really not very uh, like, you know, something that she should have done in a lot of cases and it was kind of a misjudgment on her part you know the whole fate zero section of uh iskander and gilgamesh actually talking with her and telling her about the naivety that she has as a king you know she's not greedy enough she's not you know like she she actually does not rule the people she actually tries to become friends with their people something like that like you know so like that's not how a king should know uh, do their stuff so all that things and how she actually laments later on that she never really uh, thought about her subjects she just uh, like you know she just went alongside them she never led them and later on when she like you know when Lancelot comes in and you know the whole section of fate zero later on uh, where Lancelot says that I wanted you to punish me for the things that I had done, but you never did. You were just, uh, you know, smiling at us. Like, like I got like stuff like that. You know, like we we all know what that, like what happened at that moment. So as time goes on, like you know, we actually realize that she's kind of a flawed individual. Uh, her whole thing with moderate as well, <laughs> you know, and uh, yeah, but she's a great character. Otherwise, she is, um, you know, like very like, honorable it's, like, such a good character like all in all but yeah and i think i'm going to love her even more of when uh, castoria comes you know like that's something so yeah all right guys that was it so that was my reaction to uh fate grand order uh the arcade noble phantasms so end this is the end of the series and as i said i will probably start fate unlimited course in the next uh week so check that out as well if i do that so yeah and let me know you know what you think about me starting games and fate games so yeah thank you guys for watching so if you guys enjoyed this video press the like button subscribe if you're new to the channel or you haven't subscribed comment down below anything you want to say anything you want to let me know i'll definitely check them out and uh like subscribe uh, like as i said like you know we're very close to 1k subscribers if you're not subscribed or you're new to the channel definitely do so it'll help a lot yeah so thank you guys for watching i'll see you guys with another fgo video fate related video you know
So see you guys then. So until then, goodbye and have a nice day.